everybody, and you are here for my spoilery review of The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. If you have not read this book, I, I warn you now, and this is the disclaimer, beep, 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 woo, 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 woo. If you haven't read the book, please don't watch this. Please don't. I go and read the book and then come back, or if you don't want to read the book then and you don't care about being spoiled, then go ahead. Like, enjoy. You heathen. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about, like I said, The Price Guide to the Occult, and it's by Leslie Walton. She wrote The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, which was one of my all-time favorite books. And then I picked up this book with such high expectations, and it just kind of fell for me. I do want to talk about the aesthetics of this book because I feel like this was point, like on point. So I love the color scheme. I love the black and the yellow. I feel like that's very ominous and, and it's creepy. And then it has like the red book and the, like the book pages right there. So cool. I love that they have ferns on the front, which is so reminiscent of, of um, Norse um, abilities. And then also Fern, her mother. And, and I just, I loved that. I felt like that was done very well. So let's talk about this book. So it is about Nor, and it's about these generations of um, witches that live on this island out of, off the coast of Washington State in the United States. And it follows these witches as they gain their abilities and they kind of move towards the future. And so the main character in this is Nor Blackburn, and she's a teenager, and she's just beginning to understand that she is a witch and that she has these abilities and she's trying to figure out what her abilities are but it kind of scares her you know that that's a trope and and it's very common in witch books and I liked I liked it I liked it character development I feel like this book's character development was like one of its biggest flaws because I couldn't connect to any of the characters like I could barely even remember who anyone was and, and it was this it's a small book it's not it's not like where it's, there's like gonna be a whole bunch of world building in there it's just it's gonna be easy and it should be like really easy but I felt like there were so many characters that were b being brought up where I was just like it felt like whiplash where it was just so many people and they weren't really explained well, which is shocking to me because that was one of the main reasons I liked Leslie Walton's book was um, the Ava. I'm just going to say the Ava book because that's huge. Okay, <laughs> that's a long title. So with the Ava book, like the characters were so weird and quirky and almost unlikable. And, and I liked that. And then these ones were just a little bit quirky and just and a little bit unlikable but not enough where I was like wow those are really interesting characters I want to reread them except for Judd I did like her character a lot I felt like she could like she should have been a more forefront character I felt like some of the other witches could have been cut out and then they could have focused more on Judd and and her and and Nor and you know possibly Judd's girlfriend and but nobody else you know it just felt like too many people trying to be shoved into this book at once and it just it it wasn't fleshed out well enough in my opinion and then for the writing I love her writing um, that's one of the reasons I picked this up was because it was so uh, that last book was so enthralling and then this one just kind of like fell flat for me and and then I also didn't like that there were two love interests that were just like kind of thrown in there and I, I'm a person where I'm like if there's a love story I'm all for it but like you better be it better be a big part of the story a big part of the character development and not just thrown in there basically for like reading clickbait and I'm not okay with that I'm not down with that it just didn't fit you could have literally like torn the pages out or like taken a black marker and like blacked out anywhere there were the ones for um I don't even remember his name anymore because I just felt like he was just stupid but anyways and then when everything went down she didn't even really break up with him it just kind of fizzled and yes that is realistic that happens but 
if that happens, why bring it up? You know, when I read a story, I like to read with the assumption that someone has already read through the story, taken out the import, like non-important things because this is the important thing for the storyline. And that was not an important thing. He was not important at all. I did like Gage, was it Gage or Sage? I think it was Gage. And I liked his character. I, I would have just been totally fine with the high school kid being pulled out and, um, and then Gage just being kind of that love interest where it's like, oh, what, what's happening here? I, I, don't, I don't really know what's happening, but they definitely have a connection. It, it needed a strainer. It really did. It needed a strainer to just kind of get all that junk out and kind of get the important pieces and put those back together. And I felt like that just didn't, it just didn't happen. Oh, and then another thing that really bothered me, I'm in Seattle right now. I couldn't, like one of the parts, it was literally like three sentences where Nor and her grandmother come to Seattle to uh, do some shopping and they talked about um, Pike Place Market. And like with the geography that they had given, there was absolutely no way they could just hop on a ferry and get to Seattle because Seattle isn't near the edge of Washington. Like it is in this little alcove where you can like see the water. So is it like one where, so is it a, like a little island that you can see from Seattle? Like, like Bainbridge Island? I don't know. I guess the person that wrote this didn't really know much about the geography of, of Washington at the time. I don't like reading stories set in a place where the person sets it there but doesn't have any experience of that setting. That really bothers me. The end was what was really screwed, screwed everything over in my opinion where they were at the end of the book and everything was coming down and Nora was going to get ready to kill her mother and then her mother just kind of dies. In, drops and it's done and that kind of shocked me because I at the time I thought it was a standalone book but now I'm starting to lean more towards like maybe it isn't maybe it's actually a series that they're starting because it was it was stopped so abruptly where I felt like Meh, I don't know how I feel about that and then also right at the very end when when Noor started to like because at the beginning of the book let's back up so at the beginning of the book, one of the foreshadowing pieces of her mother coming back is like all the animals going away. Plants are dying and vines are showing up everywhere. So it's quite obvious that her mother is coming to town, you know? And then at the very end, it just kind of wraps it up saying, and Nora thinks that all of these ferns and everything leaving wasn't because of her mother, it was because of her, Nora. And it was Norse doing because of her anxiety of not wanting her mother to come. And I felt like that was just kind of like, what? Like that was not explained well. She, how did she come become, how did she like decide about that? Like it didn't even make sense. She just had the thought and was just like, hmm, maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. And I was just kind of like, meh, like, eh. <laughs> I don't, I, eh, words. So with that being said, like if you've read this book and you actually liked it, like leave a comment down below. Like I said, I did enjoy this book. I gave it three stars. Um, I just had very high expectations because I have an opinion that she's a very good storyteller and this one just kind of fell flat for me and it kind of broke my heart. So let me know your comments, your opinions of this story down below. If you have any other book recommendations that are about witches and and kind of fit what I'm wanting, like leave me a comment down below. I would love to pick it up. Okay, ha I hope you have a great day and have a fun time reading them words.